All right, it's time. You asked for it, so we're going to be talking about it. That's right. It's time to talk about the king of the animal kingdom. You asked for him, so here's everything you missed in Disney's movie, The Lion King. You're waiting for me? Oh, sorry. One thing about Disney that you might not have noticed before is that they like to reflect the evil villain with a lot of green. Sorry if your favorite color is green. <laughs> Great! So if you see a character that likes a lot of green, not always, takes green. But a lot of times, that's a little hint that they're gonna be the bad guy near the end of this video. So with Scar, in case you didn't pick up right away, he has super green eyeballs. And as we learn more about Scar, we find out he's really evil and selfish. We even see green light for him when he's singing his little song to his troops. Ironically, when Simba's learning to turn your back on the world. Right? Right. Wrong! When the world turns its back on you, you turn your back on the world. He's becoming a selfish, without worrying about others, because he's only worried about himself. So, again, we see a lot of green in the background. They didn't change his eyeball color. It's still the original color. In this scene with Scar, they even went so far to reference him as a evil dictator that once existed in our world. I'm not gonna say who he is because he's not worth mentioning and some countries consider him a cuss word. <laughs> ah, he said it! He said it! He said the name! He just said the name! Lie down before you hurt yourself. We're also not disappointed with Lion King as far as hidden Mickeys go. Did you see them? Here's all the Mickeys I found. If I missed one, let me know where it was at. Earlier in the movie, we see a Mickey Mouse on the ground. Please. Then later on when Simba and Nala are ditching the dodo. So how are we gonna ditch the dodo? We see another Mickey Mouse. Hi, I'm Rob Minkoff, and I directed The Lion King. Uh, no, excuse me. <laughs> Hi, I'm Roger Allers, and I directed The Lion King. Actually, Actually that's not true. The two of us did it we together. Did it together. And in the end of the song, be prepared. Yeah, be prepared. Yeah, we'll be prepared. <laughs> For what? The random hyenas laughing at the end of the song are actually voiced by the directors. A little bit of a cameo. And now it's time for survey time. With Disney's plans of making a new version of Lion King, do you think that this was going to be a good thing or a bad thing for the whole Lion King world? Click the little eye up there or comment down below and let me know what you think. Okay, you haven't let me run the show in quite some time now. It's my turn to talk. Okay, so you think some of these words are made up, right? Like mook. What mook? <laughs> made that up. Well, technically mook was a made up word. It was even improvised by Nathan Lane. Who, Nathan Lane, by the way, is a great name. <laughs> he was the voice for Timon. However, some of these words are just as real as you and me. Like this word. What are you supposed to say when Hakuta, Hakuta, hmm. <coughs> no, Hakuta Matata. What are you supposed to say when Hakuta Matuka not Hamana? No, Hakuna Matata. Hakuta Matata. Hakuna Matata. Hakuna Matata. What are you supposed to say when Hakuna Matata <laughs> doesn't work? I don't speak this African stuff. Come on, you're as bad as crazy Nate. He doesn't even know how to say hey, hey. He the chicken. Ah! Hey, hey. Hakuna Matata. What? Of course your tiny brain is confused. Guess I'll just have to dumb it down to your level. Hakuna Matata. It means no worries. Thank you. Okay, so this word is actually used in Central East Africa, and it actually means no worries. Shh, come here. It's a secret. Uh, enough already. What is that supposed to mean, anyway? It means you're a baboon. And I'm not. Or like a sante san. That's actually a real word from Swahili, and it actually does mean what the monkey says it means. Okay, thanks a lot, Nerdy Nate. It's time to get back to the show, though. Enough with the lessons of languages. Anywho, let's point out some of the mistakes that were in the movie. What do movie. you mean, mistakes? There's no mistakes in Lion King. Yeah, it was a great movie. Almost perfect, but there were a few mistakes. Simba? 
When Rafiki adds some fruit juice to Simba's little forehead in the ceremony, all is fine, no problems there. But later on, we see him do the same thing to his little wall mm. And inside the plant, it is purple. But then when he smears it to Simba's Simba. head, it's pink. Oops. <laughs> when Simba finally decides to take his place in Pride Rock, if you watch Zazu, you will see his mouth is moving, saying something to Simba. Originally, they were going to have him say, Your Majesty. But then later on, they decided him talking was just taking away from the moment. So they just blasted the music and muted Zazu. However, they didn't have time to go back and redraw his mouth not moving, so you can see his mouth moving here. Another thing they don't have enough time for is drawing whiskers. Believe it or not, these things are actually time consuming to draw. So they only put them on the boy lions. Sorry, lady lions. No whiskers for you. Okay, so you want to get back to the Easter eggs, right? I hear ya. How about this one? When all the hyenas are on the mount, if you look closely at this one, you will see it doesn't look like it's from anywhere in Africa at all. That's Jock, the little Scottish terrier from Lady and the Tramp. One reason that these scenes look so much like Africa is because Disney actually went on a field trip to Africa to research what the Pride Lands would actually look like. The mountains you see in the very beginning is actually Kilimanjaro from, you guessed it, Africa. They played a little tribute to the culture that they saw when they visited. If you watch closely when Timon's eating bugs, you will see a few of these bugs look a lot like a mask one might find if you go to Africa and see in their culture. Mm. Pecans with a very pleasant crunch. Also, a fun little fact, this isn't pretend. Timon's actually eating the bugs for the camera, and some of them didn't exactly taste very good. Mm. <laughs> This bug also has a pattern that's getting pretty close to Mickey's pants pattern. But no argument here for this bug, it's clearly got Mickey's stamp on its back. Even though they traveled all the way to Africa to research the movie, some of these things they didn't have to go very far to find. Like when Zazu is singing It's a Small World, it's a reference to the ride It's a Small World from Disneyland. It's a small world after all. No, no, anything but that. Let's do survey time 2.0. What? Two surveys in one show? This is getting out of hand. Have you ever been on the ride at Disneyland? It's a small world. Yes, you loved it. Yes, you hated it. Or no, you've never been on it at all. <laughs> Boom! Tastes like chicken. I think I got a bad grub. I suppose I need to address of this scene. Now, if you've seen Lion King on TV recently, or you own it on Blu-ray or DVD, you've not seen the dust that originally was in the movie. If you have VHS, you will see it's a lot different than it is today. A lot of people are believing that the dust when Lion King lays down looks a lot like an adult word. Watching frame by frame, I see how it does kind of look like that word as well. However, according to Disney, it's supposed to say SFX, giving a little credit to the special effects department because they played a vital role in making Lion King as amazing as it was. Like all these dust scenes in the elephant graveyard, this was done in special effects with the fog or smoke or whatever. Or the stampede. It would have been impossible to hand draw 10,000 wildebeest going through a canyon. So a computer actually made the scene with the wildebeest. Or you can see the shadowing effect on all of our favorite characters. This is to give them a three-dimensional effect so it doesn't look so flat on the screen like a little cartoon. Instead, it's a more amazing movie. We can thank the special effects department for all this happening. Or SFX. There are a few scenes that we can see as an example of what it would have looked like if they didn't do these effects on the characters. Basically, the reason why not all the scenes had the shadowing effect is because they basically just ran out of time before the movie's deadline. Bye bye bye. Oh, look at the sun. It's time to go. So regardless if you think it says S-E-X or S-F-X, it doesn't matter. When they made the DVD slash Blu-ray, they went back and retouched the scene and polished it out so you can't see any letters. Good night, Pumba. Good night, Timon. I think I'm gonna go for a walk. If you found my Easter eggs in this video, leave a comment where they are. Don't forget to include hashtag Roar for your chance to win a free shirt. I hope I was able to bring at least one smile to your face today. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss our next adventure. And remember, gentle gentlets, 
Share a smile, they are contagious. Hey, share a smile, they're contagious. Can you imagine a day without smiling? Whew, that would be outrageous. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out with Crazy Nate. Make sure to leave a thumbs up if he left you feeling great. Have fun and we'll see you next time. And don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> that was it? <laughs> Do it again.